iOS app reader here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to play DS games on your iOS device. And I want to show you some gameplay here of Mario Kart DS. Um, yeah, so this is in like really early beta, so it's not that good. Um, you can ch press shift pads so the controls go at the bottom. So yeah, here it is. Um, right now I'm getting 30, 30, it's, the frames are really weird right now. But yeah, so I'll show you some quick gameplay. Um, the frames really are, they go up and then they go down. I think this will place me. But, oops, I accidentally pressed B. Um, but yeah, so um, it's in very early beta, so there's not much to it. There's no options or anything. It's just being able to choose the game. So, yeah, they're updating it though, so yeah. I guess I'll be Luigi. I'm gonna start. See, so yeah, right now I just tap the screen, so this touch screen works. Um, you can really switch. So you can if the, if like the game's like um you have to like, do something on the bottom screen, you can move the shift pad up and just kind of touch it. So yeah, it's really cool. Um, come on, let's start here. So yeah, when the race starts, you only get 13 frames or around that area. So that's why I'm saying like it's really low right now. But this is coming from the people that made the PPSSPP emulator, aka the PSP emulator. And if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But yeah, so you can see the frames are super low, but at least it works, so it's a good step forward. It's better than having nothing. And you see there is no iPad native um, display, but they said they are working on it. But I really don't mind playing in the times 2 mode. So you can see it's starting, got the, all the buttons you need. L and R buttons. There we go. Yeah, you can see how slow it is. But it's a good step forward, I guess. Yeah, nine frames only. So you just press close and you can either run it in the background so you can come back to it or you can just kill it. Press kill. So if you press here, you got current game, which is a hybrid of current games running. You got your roams or ROMs. You got your file browser, which doesn't work. Settings, which is soon, like it says. So now I'll show you how to get it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into Cydia, and this is the app icon right here. It looks, it's like a DS, um, the actual game, what it looks like, the game cartridge. So yeah, with the DS logo. And I'm sorry if that um gameplay was sideways. I just completely forgot to uh, mention that. But whatever, it's sideways for a few seconds. Don't worry. So what you want to do is you can add this source, cydia.angelxwind.net slash. So it's highlighted in blue right here. So you're going to get this source. Once you get it, you're going to go to the end section and you're going to get NDS for iOS. This is the iOS 5 version, the stable version, the testing version. I like the testing version, but either version I'm sure is good. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now once you've done that, um, I'll show you how to get roams. So if you want to get rooms, you can get the downloads app from the App Store. So it's 99 cents, but there is a free version. So yeah. So a good site is Cool Roms. You see I'm on right here, Cool Roms. So what you want to do is just type in, I know, whatever game you want, I don't know. Type in, I can't think of a game right now. Okay, you're going to type in just Mario Kart DS ROM. And I can really use any site, but Cool, cool Rom is the site I use. So yeah, once you download that, you wanna download iFile also, which you guys probably already have. So you wanna get iFile, and then you wanna go into Applications, and Downloads, Documents, and it should be here. Uh, where is it? It's dot .zip, so you wanna unzip it, and you have a dot .nds, so now what you wanna do is you wanna copy this dot .nds, press Edit, select it, very bottom right hand corner, press that little clipboard thing, press Copy. And once you're done that, now you want to go back to, and then you, you place it in your documents, which is right here, documents. Just place it right there, you can see it's right there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, tell me in the comments below. And um, if you want me to um, you know, do any other tutorials, just tell me in the comments below and I'll do them. So anyways, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And in the next tutorial, what I'm thinking of doing is... um. Showing you guys how to upload YouTube videos over 15 minutes off your iOS device. Because I know the photo library does not have that, which is really annoying. But anyways, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Peace.